Bus schedules may look intimidating, but once you know how the timetable works, they're easy to read. Our bus schedules are set up with the stop times reading down. Let's try reading the local B schedule with one of the most popular stops on the route, Trinity Point and Walmart. First, choose the location that you will be getting on the bus. We'll start at East Chestnut Street Transit Center. Next, move across the row to the time that you plan on leaving for your destination. We'll catch the 1010 AM bus. After you find your departure time, move down the column until you reach the row that reads where you want to get off the bus. We will arrive at Trinity Point Walmart at 1029 AM. Now let's plan our return trip back to East Chestnut Street Transit Center from Walmart. First, find Trinity Point Walmart on the schedule. We were dropped off by the local B bus at 1029 AM on run five. So the next time that the bus arrives at Walmart will be the 12.04 p.m. time. From the 12.04 time, move down the column until you come to East Chestnut Street Transit Center. We will arrive at the Transit Center at 12.33 p.m. Let's try something a little different this time. Say we wanted to catch the bus at Centerville Clinic at 2.46 p.m. and go to Crown Center Mall. If you move down the column, the last time shown on the table is the 2.48 p.m. at East Chestnut Street Transit Center. From here, you would have to move up to the very top of the schedule to the next run, which is run 10. We can see that after a short break at the Transit Center, the bus will depart for Crown Center Mall at 2.55 p.m. and will arrive at 3.08 p.m. Now that we've spent some time at Crown Center Mall, we want to head back home to Crumrine Tower. Find Crown Center Mall on the schedule again and move across the row to the next time that the bus will arrive, which is 4.28 p.m. We will then move down the schedule until we get to the row that says Crumrine Tower, which shows that we will arrive at 4.48 p.m. Some of our schedules are split into inbound and outbound runs, but are read the same way as the local B timetable. Let's take a look at the Pittsburgh Metro schedule and plan a trip from Jessup Place Park and Ride to 5th Avenue and Smithfield Street in downtown Pittsburgh. First, find the stop that you will be getting on the bus. We will then move across the row to the time that we want to leave. We will take the 6.50 AM bus into Pittsburgh. After you have found your stop time, move down the column until you come to the row where you want to get off of the bus. Our bus will arrive at 5th and Smithfield at 8.20 a.m. Now, let's plan our return trip from downtown Pittsburgh. The outbound runs are listed in the second timetable on the schedule. We will find the location we want to get on the bus, which is Smithfield and 6th Avenue, and move across the row to the time that we want to leave. We'll catch the bus at 4.04 p.m. Move down the column until you come to the stop that you want to get off at, which shows that our bus will arrive back at Jessup Place Park and Ride at 5.20 p.m. If you still have questions on how to read a bus schedule or need more information on transportation services available to you, give us a call or visit our website.